Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to one and all. My name is Willie Nicholl, the Change and Development Coach. However, I'm also known by my nickname, the Techno Dinosaur, because I'm not very good with techie stuff. Fortunately, however, I have a good friend called David, who helps me with all that stuff. So, hello David, how are you and where are you? Hi Willie, thank you for the introductions. My name is David Logan, Logan IT, the IT geek. I'm very well. I am from Annan, south of Scotland, near the English border. And it's the first English town, first Scottish town, sorry, when you cross the English border where people need to get married in Scotland. Gretna Green. Ah, very good. Uh, following on from last week's uh, video, and uh, sorry, I should have said that I'm based in Trun, South Ayrshire, Scotland, in the UK. Following on from last week, um, I want you to explain to the viewers what it is you do and how you can help them with IT stuff. Okay, thank you, Wally. So, apart from my normal job, I drink coffee. If you want to, know how to keep an IT geek happy, give them coffee. They drink it hot or cold. On a serious note, we help businesses small to large, medium sized businesses from the one man band up to businesses with 30 computers looking for businesses in the growth stage. We help businesses in the way of give them hardware, set up the software, make sure the data is backed up. This is quite prudent now, especially as we come out of lockdown. You and I, have not, we've got a lot of stand, not standalone, one man bands we're connected to. As in, so um, businessmen and ladies, it's very important to have your business documents backed up, but also your family photos. Another purpose, another line we look at is security. You need to make sure you keep the bad guys from jumping into your system. Taking your, the client confidential information away or, look, or get into your bank account details. So it's security and backup we look at. Thanks, David. Um, so you can operate from the one-man band, like myself, to bigger organisations with uh, more terminals, more IT equipment, if, if I can call it that, and um, all their associated, well, is the word peripheral? Peripheral equipment, like your broadband and your Wi-Fi and all that kind of malarkey that I don't understand. So would that be... Would that be true to say all the, the hardware, software, and everything connected to it? Yes, very true. So yes, we can look at after servers. Servers being, in a, in a nutshell to the layman, is a supercomputer that holds all the company data. We can look after that, backups for that. We can advise on broadband, internet coming into the premise, into the office. And we can look at the wiring. Yes, we're not electricians. I would outsource an electrician, but we can organize the networking issue to connect computers together so they can talk to each other. Okay, so if anyone has any IT issues or problems, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you for a chat and how to resolve these? Best way to contact me nowadays is through social media. So we have a, we're on the main, main platforms, Facebook. I'm sure everybody sees my videos on a daily basis on, on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. We're on there. Or vice versa, you've got the traditional methods of communication. Phone, 01 461 700 198. Or the mobile, 07 9 Six six five zero eight two nine nine. Conversely, we've got email. Give us a shout. I won't bite like the techno dinosaur. <laughs> well, I only bite metaphorically. Um, thank you for that, David. I would urge all the viewers who are experiencing any type of IT problems, as I often do, to get in touch with David for a friendly chat about how. 
he can help you resolve these. So thanks once again, David. Any updates before we go? One other thing. Don't let distance be a problem. Yes, I live in South of Scotland. <clears throat> but to the viewer, look at Willie and I. We're sitting here, we're talking. Seven, roughly 70 miles apart. We or I can do this as well. If you've got a problem, contact us. We can, with your permission, connect to your computer and investigate your problem as long as you have got internet connection at your end. <clears throat> now, one last thing. Apologies, Wally. We're also looking branching into training. So for the techno dinosaurs out there, including yourself, Wally, if you've got a series of problems, let's explore. Let's see. We can create training courses online to start with. And we may progress as lockdown disappears, progress offline. So that's training courses for the beginner, for the technical dinosaurs of you out there. Question you, Willie. How does one define a technical dinosaur? Um, <clears throat> very good question. You put me on the spot there. Someone with, um, shall we say, who's technologically challenged or with limited technological abilities. Um, I can, I can uh, make my excuses. It's an age thing. It's also um, um, just, it's one of those things that, that, that doesn't uh, attract me. I'd sooner outsource it to someone else. Um, I've been frustrated in the past with technological problems which should be fixed because I can work Google and I can find out on, I feel like on paper, excuse the, the pun, how things should work. And then when they don't work, it becomes very frustrating, which is why I'm indebted to your good self for sorting problems out. Great. That's me. That's all I've got to say on myself, unless you've got any other questions. No, David, um, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, I'll take over the, the fun farewells. I, um, I hope that you've enjoyed this, viewers. And as David says, remember to subscribe on YouTube. Right? The more subscribers, the merrier. And if you have any problems at all, there are many, many ways you can get in touch with us. Please do so. We're happy to have a chat with you. So it's farewell and stay well from me, Willie Nicol, the Techno Dinosaur. And from me, David Logan, the IT Geek. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you soon.